Hi, Zeus here. Clone Riflemen are a prototroop currently on the main base, and I want to show you how one of my task force members used them to beat Global Number One using just three boosted offensive statues. And then I'm going to show you how I beat Global Number One with just three of my eight offensive statues boosted. Bad Destiny is one of the very skilled members of the Red Hot Legends Task Force, where I'm a co-leader, and he's currently using nine boosted ice statues, and therefore only three boosted offensive statues. And here he's attacking Global Number One with Clone Rifleman, and explain what he's doing. So he's feeding in the Clone Rifleman one boat at a time. As each boat gets into play, he puts the next one in. And what this does is it provides a continuous shield for his bombardiers as the bombardiers spread through the base and take out all of the defenses. This is a twist on a typical three offensive boosted statue attack on nine boosted dice where they use regular riflemen. And of course with clone riflemen it's much easier and more effective. The, one of the problems with the current tribe cycle is that the rocket launchers are boosted and fire at twice the rate. So they do a significant amount of damage on the riflemen and other low health troops. So it's very difficult to be effective with the clone riflemen under the current tribe cycle. And the, the boost from the clone rifleman is enough to offset the rocket launcher boost from the tribe cycle. So Bad Destiny is able to beat Global Number One, but just barely, really, because if the rocket launchers had, had another two or three seconds, they would have wiped out his bombardiers. Okay, well, here's my attack on Global Number One. And if you may recall, yesterday I said that when I beat Global Number One with a full boost of eight offensive statues, I said I probably could have beat Global Number One with three boosted offensive statues and the rest of my eight unboosted and here's my opportunity to prove that I can do it. So again the first thing about attacking one of these nine boosted ice bases is you have to identify the shock mines near the landing zone and bart them out. So there's one there on the far right behind the sniper tower. There's one in the middle behind that cannon. And again, as I'm taking out these three shock mines, I am also trying to take out any other mines that are in range of a single artillery shell so that I can lower the damage on my troops as they go by. There's also this boom mine there on the far left and I tried to get it with my Kavan spawn, but it didn't, it didn't come down unlike yesterday's attack where I was able to take it down with a Kavan spawn. And as soon as the critters that I threw down at the beginning are depleted, I throw down a shock on the central grappler. And I'm trying to pay attention to the right side and make sure that the mechs can get through to the boom cannons there. Meanwhile, I'm trying to protect my main force of troops coming up the left side by spawning second wind and then throwing down a shock on the rocket launcher. Now I'm going to use my gunboat energy to bark down dangerous defenses like boom cannons that are not being shocked by a mech or critter launchers or the two lasers. Now, each of those lasers can kill a bombardier with a single laser beam blast. And the laser rangers also can die to a single laser beam blast, so they're very dangerous. And that's their main purpose, is to take out the damage dealing troops behind the scorchers and mechs or other uh, high health troops that you throw at it. Now along the way, I also threw down one shock on the defenses to the right of the core. While well, the shield gen is down and this base is beaten, 
and there you go. This is proof that you can take down global number one with just three boosted offensive statues. You know what you're doing. And I get three large crystals for my effort. And the losses of troops was relatively mild. And with the discount on Scorchers, I only lost 244,000 gold to take down global number one. All right, so after a morning map clear, I'm back to 76 on the global leaderboard and 1,762 victory points. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and please give this video a like. It'll help us with the algorithm. And thanks, as always, to Hercules for help with the video editing.